Now, one of the other big things that you can do, and this is a this is a, a biggie, is that we can check whether any specific data exists within a given block, and we can specify a rule or a matching pattern as the item that we're searching for. So here, um, if we uh, parse the, the data that we want to parse, and we give it a matching pattern, um, uh, this will give us an answer of true because there is a, uh, a match there. Um, and same thing with this. There's going to be a match here. Now, one really big thing to understand, important thing to understand, is when parse is going through, as soon as it comes across something that doesn't match, that entire evaluation evaluates to false. Um, so in this case, we've got a parse with several different items, and we want to match this exactly. Apple doesn't match orange, so even though the apple is contained in the data, it's going to evaluate to false because um, it didn't match everything. But that's just the default behavior. We can control how uh, parse responds to items that don't match very easily. We have a couple optional words um, that we can uh, use in a rule um, so that uh, the rule returns, or so that the parse returns true um, if the matches occur in a certain way. So these are little, little modifiers we can use. If we use any, um, we'll get uh, true if the rule matches the data zero or more times. And if we use sum, the rule only has to match the data one or more times. And if we use opt, the rule matches the data zero or one time. And if we use one, the rule matches the data exactly one time. Um, and if we put an integer in that rule, in the block following the, the data, um, then we'll get true if the rule matches the data the given number of times. And if we put two integers, uh, we'll get true a true evaluation if the rule matches the data um, the number of times included in that range. So in this case, we're going to be true. We have zero more matches. Um, in this case, we're going to get true because uh, the rule matches the data one more time. There is a string one or more times. And in the next case, we're going to get uh, a true answer because there is a string either one or two times in that uh, in that block of data. So this provides some ways for, for checking any unformatted data for a certain case. We may want to check, for example, uh, if an item is a um, HTML uh, tag. We have, there's a tag type in Rebel. Uh, we can check to see if a, an item is any data type, if it's money type, if it's a a time type, any of these data types, instead of just a string, we can check to see if it's any type of data that Rebel um, recognizes, and that's quite a few that it recognizes by default. And uh, we can also create rules that include multiple match items. All we do is use this um, pipe character, the vertical line, um, and enclose those things inside uh, square brackets. Um, so this will will uh, evaluate to true because one of these is true. One of them is a string. Um, so we can check to see if it's either a string or a U URL or a number. And as long as those is one of those is true, we'll, we'll evaluate to true. Um, put that in. Evaluates to true. So we can search for certain types of data. Um, and match certain types of data uh, using these these rules. Uh, you can also trigger certain actions to occur whenever a rule is matched. All you do is enclose, enclose that action in parentheses with the match. So here, um, if we come across the string, we're, we're going to put up a little alert box. Um, if we had come across the URL, we could do something with that and so on and so forth. And that can be any block or any function or Anything that we that we'd like, just put it in parentheses, and it will run. There's an example. Parse. We've got the data that we're parsing, and then this whole block of um, 
checks that it's going to run through. And when it gets to that string that evaluates the true, it tells us that the block contains a string. Um, and actually did it on both of those items. Okay, now one of the really great things about pattern matching is that we can search and extract data from unf unformatted text in a, in a very organized way. So we can go through, for example, you read a web page and uh, extract some data for it. We can search it. In this example, we're searching for title, uh, a title tag, and an ending title tag, looking for matches. Um, and uh, basically, it uh, displays anything that's included between those tags. And we use the through and two um, words. And up here you can see the two word ignores data until that condition is found. And the word through ignores data until just past uh, a condition uh, being evaluated to true. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go until we get to the title tag and use the word copy to assign a variable to, to anything that matches. So anything that's uh, after the title tag, we're going to copy to parse text until we get to an ending title tag. So that's going to copy everything in the title tag for us, and then it's going to alert when we get when that evaluates to true. Uh, we're going to alert the user with that text that was copied. So now we're going through some uh, information. This is what's on the rebel uh, the rebel page, rebel, rebel web page in between the title tags. 